Welcome to Positive Mind. Today is the third day of eight. I hope you've been enjoying your eight so far. We're going to talk about tradition because tradition are very important during eight and seasons such as this. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're talking about traditions. What are your traditions during eight? Do you have a tradition or do you hate traditions? There are going to be people that are, don't really like tradition and they just want to make changes. But believe me, traditions are very important. Being able to visit families, to be able to just have a time with family and close members are important. Traditions are made up with whatever the family has decided. Sometimes they are culturally approved and sometimes they could all be very centralized to the particular family, their culture, and their values. Now, although some of us might hate tradition, especially the younger people, because they feel that they've done these things for a while and they want to make changes. There's nothing wrong with making changes to your tradition. But what's wrong is when we want to let go of all the traditions because we want to recreate something very new. And a lot of times when we're trying to recreate something new, we're kind of saying that the old tradition is not important. Traditions are important and that's why they are there. For you to be able to have time to spend with your family, you might have a special lunch arranged, you might have some special uh, reunions, being able to hang out and just spend time with people you haven't seen for a long time. These are traditions, saying hi to the elderly in your family, being able to greet them, being able to be excited because eight is all about being excited of a time that you spent 30 days being very spiritual and now you are happy to be with individuals to kind of like reminisce over all the experiences you've had. Some of us might have not been able to see our family and this is a time where we can create a tradition virtually for example. Some of us might not be able to be with our family on a local distance. We also do virtual. I know we're living in a world that virtuality has become part of our lifestyle. And just because we're living virtually and because of social distancing, because of an ability to be able to gather, that does not mean that we let go of traditions. Because traditions give us a meaning. They give our family a meaning. And without it, it makes you sad. There are lots of people that have tried to change their family tradition. And then ultimately they realize that it really doesn't matter because it makes them feel lonely. We hold on to these traditions because they give us a sense of belonging, a sense of meaning. Although sometimes we don't want to gather with family. Sometimes we feel like dressing up for aid and going out doesn't really make any sense, especially with the millennials and even younger. But the reason why our parents and the reason why our grandparents have insisted on these traditions because they give a value to the family. It gives a value to who you are as a person, it gives you a sense of identity. Giving up on traditions is only going to make you feel that you're not part of this family. Sometimes tradition might not mean anything to you. Sometimes we have to change the tradition a little bit. But to give it all up during these kind of happy seasons probably is not the healthiest you can do. Stay tuned. When I come back, we'll talk a little bit more about tradition and the value it has in our life. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're talking about traditions and we're talking about how some people might be very resistant to family traditions and some people welcome these traditions that have been passed on from generation to generation. Now the individuals that might not look up to tradition or might hate it, maybe because sometimes in their childhood or growing up, somehow, somewhere, they had a bad experience with their tradition. They had a bad experience with aid, for example, or they have friction between family members and they just resent the idea of meeting up with people that maybe have given them a hard feeling or maybe they're not talking to each other and they feel like they don't really want to sit down and pretend that they like these individuals. Now, it's all about the way we think about traditions. Now, yes, maybe you've had a bad experience and maybe at one time during aid or one time during your childhood, somebody has said something or it was a very sad moment because you lost somebody very important to you. Maybe there was a death, a loss, a stress, a trauma. And therefore, since that day, you have decided that I don't really like any occasions or holidays because they bring bad memory. 
while traditions are important and it's very important that we reshape the way we think about them. Remember that when you get married and have kids, you want to pass something to your kids. We cannot just continue living the way we are, hating aid, hating this, not really embracing anything uh, from the past because we don't like it. What we need to do is we can create the memories, recreate better memories for ourselves, and therefore it allows us to embrace these traditions without having any negative, um, negative ideas attached to them. Aid is important, holidays are important. Ramadan is important. Now how you celebrate it is really important in the way you process information. Remember, traditions are there for a reason. They're not there to be forgotten. They could be modified because we do live in the 21st century and modification is important. We live in virtual world, we probably have to change them, but we don't dismiss them and delete them. Remember, when you have your own family one day, you're gonna think about how important it is to have lunches together during these holidays, to pass by and say hello to all your elderly individuals, teach some values to your kids, being able to use spirituality while you're celebrating this holy season. These are all traditions, and I'm sure there are more and more that your family have. Make sure that you pass on the stuff that you want, but to say and pass on to your next generation that this is something that you don't value, you might want to reflect on your own thinking and reevaluate why is it that you are resisting this type of tradition. Change is important, but also holding on to some of the stuff from the past is even more important. Thank you so much for joining us. And remember, on this show, we always try to keep it positive.